This is the highlands of Ethiopia, and we're driving west. This land has great potential for the use of vetiver grass for soil and water conservation. Everything is very dry during the dry season. We are on our way to a farm at Anno, where vetiver has been used most successfully for groundwater recharge and significantly increasing crop yields. Before proceeding, I would like to give you a little background about vetiver grass and its root system. Here you can see a one-year-old plant in Thailand which has a root depth of 3.3 meters. It's likely to grow down as far as 6 meters if soil permits. In this image we have a two-year-old plant from China. Its roots are two meters deep and still growing. This is typical of vetiver grown on tropical soils. This is an interesting image of the cross-section through two vetiver hedgerows in Malaysia. You can see the black line just below the soil surface. This was the original organic layer and with the event of vetiver hedgerows sediment has been washed down the slope and collected behind the hedgerow creating natural terraces. Vetiver grass has the ability to climb up and grow up the terrace as sediment is deposited behind the hedge and as you can see in this image new shoots and roots develop as at higher up in the plant as the um, sediment is placed behind the hedgerow. Here you see a linear section through a bed of a hedgerow. It's a massive root structure and acts as a subsurface barrier and a, penetrates deep in the soil to allow water to get down into the groundwater. Here, as often is the case in uh, Ethiopia, Bedaba has come down uh, to a hard pan and then the roots go through the hard pan and allowing better infiltration. This is a unique characteristic of vetiver. There are 250 kilometers of vetiver hedgerow over this, uh, on this 500 hectare farm. These hedgerows are doing a fantastic job stopping erosion and conserving a large amount of runoff which goes down into a gullied area below. I would like to introduce you to Atto Gidissa, the farm manager of Anno Farms. He is going to tell us how he planted vetiver, <coughs> what the impact was both on his farm crops and his uh, on the water table. So what did you do? First, we, when we took this land, it was completely abandoned, no trees, no shrubs, nothing was there. Then, after we take over, two years later, we brought this vertebral uh, seedlings mm. and the plant, as you have seen, it's such a long distance. Then, two years later, after plantation, this small spring start to spark from different angles. Mm -hmm. Now you see it from different places, not only about four places. This is what your neighbors think of this. Every year or every two years we demonstrate field days yeah. for farmers and officials and researchers. Mm -hmm. So they have seen it. This is all you have seen these uh, seats. Mm. They sit here and uh, we open this question what must have to be done to save the natural resource of this country. How to upgrade the yield per hectare. How to fight against the poverty and so on. So for the elevation of poverty, the only remedy is just to have such plant, to use irrigation system, and uh, to develop new ideas with a new innovation. Are there any alternatives to vetiver? Can you think of a better way than vetiver grass? Uh, really, I have tried so many of, um, ways. Yeah. 
like using animal, uh, using animal dogs, using green manuring and others. But if it would be within the collaboration of vertebral grass, it will be more effective in the high yield. Because if we use other alternate, the run of never stop. Mm. For if the fertility of the soil increased in one way or another, if there is heavy rain on the sloppy areas like this land, it will washed off and taken off and destroy the top soil, no more yield. Mm. So doing other alternative is just coming back again and again, again yeah. and again. There's something okay. to repeal. But you, the, this new, new flow of water is 100% associated with the vet of a hedge, correct? Yeah, correct. Okay. Well, that's great. You've done a wonderful job. Thank you. Thank you. This flow of water, is it a constant flow like this throughout the year? Yes, this is a dry time even. Yeah. Even at the rainy season, it is more yeah. and highly. Yeah. This is what it accumulates on the previous months. Yeah. This is a dry time now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's completely drinkable, I oh. guess. Fresh, lovely, is it? More than the mineral water we purchased an hour before. I am sure, yes. Yeah. I'm absolutely <laughs> certain of that. Here on the bank of this stream, just above the above the outflow, you can see the the groundwater is actually running out on the bank. As we are about to summarise the effect of the bed of a hedgerows on the groundwater, two small children come along to fill up their water jugs. This is the cleanest water in the area, and anybody in the community can use this water. In summary. The Vedava hedgerows have stopped erosion by nearly 100%, have reduced runoff by at least 70%, and the groundwater has been recharged. This is something we could do across Ethiopia and most of Africa if Vedava systems were systematically applied to the benefit of increased crop production and improved groundwater. It is easy. All that is needed is the will to do it.